Rashida, <laughs> we're face to face. One, two, three, go. Tell me about your first day in New York and how long did it take you to break into the business? My first day in New York was St. Patrick's Day. Oh. I've been driven up from Houston by a buddy of mine. He said, get out of the car, go to that stand and buy show business and backstage. And so I did and said there was an audition that very day. I went to the audition and I got the job. What was that first show? Irma La Douce. I did Irma. I did Irma. Oh my God. I don't remember you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, your big break was when you were cast as Anita in the original production of West Side Story. Right. Tell me about the day you found out you had gotten the role. <laughs> well, Carol Lawrence had found out, I think, that day, and my sweet and wonderful Larry Kurt had found out that day. They had found they, they were playing they the leads. They were playing the leads. And there was a bar on the corner of 50th uh, right where the um, Winter Garden Theater stage door is, and we decided that we would all we would go in that bar and celebrate, and that's exactly what we did. I find this amazing. Wow, you were nominated for three Tonys in one show, my one and only Best Direction, Best Choreography, and Best Performer by a Leading Actor. You won. Two of them. What was it like to direct, choreograph, and star in a major Broadway show? It wasn't planned. We had, they fired the director out of town in Boston, and they came to me and they said, we want you to take over the direction of the show. I said, wow. I'm already choreographing the show with Tommy Walsh. I'm already in the show, and I'm teaching Twiggy how to tap dance. There's too many hats. And yeah, they said, you yeah. take over the direction of the show, or we're closing it right here in Boston, so I said, okay. Tell me about the patio review. <laughs> ah, the patio review. Okay, this is down home in Houston. When you went to Barry Bradley's house, you played cops and robbers. You went to Jimmy Springer's house, you played <laughs> cowboys and Indians. You came to the Toon house, you played Let's Put On a Show. Well, my older brother, Julio, used to have movies in the basement, and I would be the opening, and my other brother, Armando, would sit in the back and go, boo, <laughs> boo. When you were a young dancer growing up in D.C., did you imagine that you would be the first Latina American to receive a Kennedy Center honor and a Presidential Medal of Freedom? Of course not. Cheetah Rivera has captured America's imagination with her magnetic presence and radiant voice. It's an extraordinary feeling to be standing at, in the Kennedy Center and looking down and knowing that these people have taken their time. It's thrifty. Well, you're getting the cheetah. I know. <laughs> That's what it is. This is the first year of the Cheetah Rivera Awards. Oh, right. How do you feel about having an award ceremony named after you? Well, it's hard to believe, you know, you could Believe it. Another. You deserve it. No Monday in your Sunday. In 1969, you played Ambrose in Hello, Dolly. I clearly remember seeing you and loving you in that. Loving it. What was it like working a movie musical directed by... Gene Kelly. Did you ever think that you would have Gene Kelly talk to you? I know, I know. Because he was my, you know, he and Fred Astaire are the reasons right. that I do what I do. Yeah. He gave me the best direction I've ever received, ever. On the set, between takes, he came up to me and he said, Tommy, dance better. See? See how you reacted? Wow. Oh, and I okay. did. And I can see it on the screen, because it was that take. Well, we survived face to face, I think. <laughs> what makes you think we wouldn't have survived?